um, please visit our website for in-depth articles and news about your favorite celebrities. In a groundbreaking moment, Hanny from New Jeans made a notable appearance at a South Korean parliamentary audit on October 15, 2024, where she shed light on workplace harassment and bullying within the K-pop industry. The audit aimed to tackle issues affecting idols play, and Hani bravely recounted her experiences of being ignored and mistreated by staff from other Hive labels. She revealed instances where a manager instructed others to ignore her, which had a profound impact on her. Hani's testimony underscored that these acts of neglect were part of a larger systemic issue she has faced since her debut. Despite her efforts to address these concerns with Adore's CEO Kim Joo she felt unsupported, indicating that no substantial actions were taken to protect her or her group, New Jeans. As a result, Hani took matters into her own hands, providing detailed evidence and disputing the company's claims of no wrongdoing. She expressed frustration over the lack of accountability, noting that while CCTV footage was reviewed, crucial moments that could have validated her claims were conveniently missing. CEO Kim Joo-young acknowledged her regret that the footage had expired, leaving evidence inconclusive. Hani's powerful testimony resonated with netizens who expressed their support for her courage. Many praised her for advocating not only for herself, but also for her fellow group members and other idols facing similar issues. Fans took to various platforms to demand justice, with some organizing formal complaints against Adore executives. The fan base, known as Bunnies, also initiated petitions calling for accountability from Hybe, demonstrating their unwavering support for Hani and New Jeans. This situation has sparked important discussions about the power dynamics within K-pop agencies and the need for improved treatment and protections for artists. Many netizens believe High B's response has been insufficient, calling for greater transparency and reforms in the industry to prevent similar incidents in the future. Hani's poignant statement emphasized the importance of mutual respect, um, sending a strong message about the need to address these issues, not just through legal means, but through humane interactions. Hani's emotional testimony is seen as a landmark event as it is rare for K-pop idols to, to publicly address such sensitive topics. Her bravery in discussing workplace harassment on such a significant platform has ignited widespread discussions about artist rights and corporate accountability within the competitive K-pop industry. As the investigation progresses, many are closely monitoring how the Ministry of Labour and other relevant entities will respond to the allegations. For more detailed coverage on this story, please visit our website.